Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's Quick Fix. Well, it's something a little bit different today and something I know that a lot of you have been looking forward to. So here we have my first book, New Botanical Painting. This one came out in October 2019. Then came Birds, Bees and Blossoms. So we moved it on just from flowers and started adding in some of my favorite insects, birds and animals. And I am so thrilled to show you <gasps> our brand new book, A Year of Watercolour, a beautiful book, uh, and I might add about 12 pages longer, so even more projects than the previous two. It is a seasonal guide to botanical watercolour painting. And what does that mean exactly? Well, it is a series of watercolour projects just like the first two books, but the theme this time is tracking the seasons and seeing the growth and the bursting of life and the circle of the seasons that I saw on my doorstep um, in 2020 when of course a lot of us were at home looking around us and seeing our surroundings anew. So it's coming out next week uh, in the UK the 31st of August. Um, it's available to pre-order and I thought why don't I show you inside for the very first time. So let's begin. I'm working again with my amazing publishers, Elex of Octopus Publishing. So I'm very, very happy to be working with them again. Oh, what's that? That's a landscape painting. Yes, you will have in this book, in addition to the plants, the flowers, the birds, the bees, the animals, you've got a few little landscapes as well, but not before we do a few of the basic brush strokes and techniques. There are some extra ones in here and there's also a bit on colour mixing um, because a lot of this book is encouraging you outdoors maybe to even try painting um, plein air um, outdoors painting on location so it teaches you how you can sort of simplify down your watercolour kit um, but also it's still perfect if you love painting in the comfort of your normal space at home so we go through the seasons spring we've actually split into two because there's so much going on um, so here is a bluebell wood so we we'll talk you through to create this lovely little simple landscape i'm so thrilled that we're introducing this kind of project into the book because it's something we've been doing a bit on youtube but how lovely to actually have it in some of my books as well we've also got some new plants and flowers this is wild garlic right here and we just happen to have one or two little extras for you, a little wild garlic pesto recipe, because this was very much a sort of documentation of my experiences through the spring and um, some of the things we foraged and found. And of course the bear buds and the branches. Then we go through to late spring color in more abundance. So we've got elderflower, we're going to do an elder, elderflower cordial recipe. What else have we got going on? Oh, lovely strawberries as well. And a few little sketches here and there of some of the other animal encounters I had whilst painting some of these things. Um, we've got trees. We go into a bit more detail with the cherry blossom tree. I know that's a really popular one with you guys on here. And this time I teach you how to paint it in all the different stages of growth. We've got bees. We've got the flowers that the bees love. So it's, it's a sort of little, yeah, it's a little nature journal as well as a painting project series. Okay, then we go into summer and we've got some beautiful butterflies. I saw a barn owl just here. Look at that guy. So you can see there's a real range of things, a real celebration of the seasons and some of our favorite flowers, of course, as well. Through to autumn, we see uh, field mice, harvest mice, deer, some lovely studies of oak leaves, all sorts of things. And then through to winter where we get a little bit festive but my favorite has to be the nuthatch. Um, I love seeing this guy on the bird feeder. And so he had to go in, absolutely had to. Um, got a Scots pine, so much in there. And then of course some classics if you want to be painting your Christmas cards um, and how to paint a lovely little winter wreath there. There's so much um, and gosh, oh look, there's me and Crumble right at the back. <laughs> nice little 
bit there. But this book is uh, something I'm extremely proud of. This is already my working copy, so you can see the scribbles on it. There are a few sort of smudgy paint finger marks already in it as well. Um, my patrons have already seen inside and had a go at a few of the projects, but now it's time to share it with you, my wonderful YouTube audience, and remind you that it is available for pre-order in all your favorite uh, bookstores, online and further afield. And yeah, just to say thank you so much because without you, I very much doubt I would have been in a position to be able to do this third book. Um, it's a, the honor of my life to paint for you and get your messages. I read every single one. I try and reply to as many as possible, um, but this is a huge thank you to you for making this possible. And I really, really hope that you enjoy it. So all the uh, details for pre-ordering your copy in the episode notes below and I will see you again soon. Happy painting!